difficult. It okay. becomes very tense to ease out. And then you must have noticed, I read out some poem, but there's so much of Shero Shairi. I've also done some Shero Shairi there. How do you ease out? How do you, even in life, one has to introduce you, but then things get very tough. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Madam, I am Sunil Kumar. Uh, I have a one suggestion. Uh, you know, once the MPs have been elected and have come to the party, uh, to the parliament, uh, they should all be working for the good of the nation. So why should it be called the leader of opposition? Why should it not be leader of cooperation for the nation building? <laughs> That's a very good idea. Very good idea. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Madam, we have been regaled by you the beautiful things that have happened in your time. I have been wondering how have you taken your transmission from services to the politics? Because the two trains run in opposite directions. And you seem to have made it run concurrently in the same direction. How is that? Well, uh, it's one thing very common in the Indian Foreign Service. I mean, the Indian Foreign Services officers are sitting here. Are they sitting here? Yes. Uh, yes. Foreign yes. Service officers. I, I, I know. Uh, they, they would know what I'm speaking of. There's something very common between Indian Foreign Service and politics. Both are so grilling. They, they go, made to go through the mill. They, <laughs> and when I was in the foreign service, you would not believe what all kind of things I was entrusted me and we did uh, hours after hours and we doing it meticulously. If I didn't, you know, I would be pulled up. So that habit of being meticulous, being attentive, uh, being used to uh, back-breaking hard work, which I formed when I was at the Foreign Service, was a great help when I entered politics. Yes, sir. <coughs> Sir, we can't make out what you're saying. Uh, could you hold the mic a little closer, please? You have recalled the highlights of your speakership and how you made the diplomacy work to bring the members in the House together. I would like to request you to Call to the nation the services done by your very distinguished father, Babu Jagdivandra, who raised the masses, the Dhamma fathers, gave them dignity and a place of honor in a very dignified and cohesive and national. I am very touched by what you have said about my late father. And it has overwhelmed me. And thank you so much for the uh, Yes, please. <coughs> Ma'am, uh, does it speak? It was always admirable the way you always kept a smiling face and uh, handled all the issues. Ma'am, could you hold it a little closer, please? Okay. Yes. And uh, there are so many spoofs also, you know, uh, humor on you that we got to see on TV. And uh, they always highlighted your patient handling in the parliament. I want to know, uh, did you feel disgust when uh, we the parliament started to uh, fight over issues of communalism and uh, religious uh, differences. How did you feel 
it inside. Uh, of course, you handle it all uh, wonderfully. <coughs> Communal issues and religious issues and differences when they were brought up in Parliament. Yes, yes. Thank you. I, I think you've asked a very important question. You see, the floor of the house, and that's the beauty of this Parliament, the floor of this house, Parliament, is meant for conflict resolution. There, there's so many views, that's why I say there are 38 parties coming with different views, coming with different stands. Some, you know, we may not, some may not like them, some re really are so passionate about them. They're all coming together in that house and they're expressing it. Sometimes tempered also rights. But they are expressing it. And finally, what happens? All that is not accepted. And something emerges always, which is for the good of the country. I've never ever seen anything emerge from the floor of that house, which is not good. Uh, yes, ma'am. The mic, please. Uh, I just want to know if uh, you feel that it is very important to have a strong opposition, uh, which neutralizes all the corruption, wrongdoings of the ruling party. And will we have a strong opposition as of today? Looking at what is UPA condition that UPA is in, do you think we'll have a strong opposition? Yes. In a parliamentary system, opposition is very important. And a constructive, very, very uh, strong opposition. I wouldn't say aggressive. I wouldn't say uh, uh, opposition which is Constructive, but a powerful, strong opposition is very important in in uh, parliamentary democracy, and uh, I think that is always needed. Any other questions? As of today, the Minister of Health As of today, we looking at with opposition. Yes. Will we have a strong opposition? Yes. So sometimes things happen. It all depends on the mandate of the people. But people have finished with the elections. People have. It happens. Sometimes you get a captured mandate. Sometimes you, yeah, there is instability in the house. There, there are. It's, it's a very large country. So things happen. In spite of that, I said that uh, our democracy is still, still going. Uh, these are the phases, and I think as we settle down uh, in, with our parliamentary system, we'll, our people, we, we will learn to address these, uh, these problems and these questions and uh, further strengthen our democracy. Thank you very much. Thank you. That gives us some hope. Yes, never will lose hope. We never always live in hope. Uh, thank you, uh, Srimati Meera Kumar Ji, for this excellent talk, the excellent exposition. And I think two things really stand out. One is her personal life, the way she's moved up in life, uh, gives a lot of uh, inspiration to the next generation as to what you all can achieve. And I think the second thing that really stands out is her positive attitude towards everything. And on behalf of the Delhi Gymkhana Club, I'd like to thank um, uh, Shrivati Meera Kumar for coming here and talking to us and I request you to kindly give her that note of applause that you all received. <laughs> On behalf of the Delhi Jindana Club, I'd like to give her a small memento for coming here this evening.
copy of the Constitution of India, uh, which Vira uh, Kumar is presenting to the library of Delhi Jindhana. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also for the fourth uh, Indian Parliamentary Diplomacy, uh, which she is presenting to the Jindhana Library. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks, ladies.